Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be revisiting Bolt.new. Um, the first video I did on Bolt.new was to kind of show you how to use it on their website. And <clears throat> that was kind of popular, so I decided to show you how to download the repo um, from Bolt.new and run it on your local computer. The only problem with that is when you do that, you don't have the ability to export your files, to get your files out of there, to deploy them to your own server or website. So I went ahead and created a fork of Bolt.News Bolt repo um, here, and then I created a button that you could download uh, files from, you know, after you built them, you could go ahead and export out your files as a zip folder. And then you can, um, or a zip file, and you can ex you could uh, unzip that and then use that to upload your files to your server or continue working on them in another IDE. Um, and the next part was, uh, I got some comments on, you know, you can't change the uh, the model, the AI, the large language model, which it uses Anthropic, so you're kind of stuck with their, their models. Um, and so I was going to look at, um, you know, adding the ability to change that model, but then I came across this repo, which this um, this guy here, this Coleman, has already add, added that or uh, created that. So he has done a lot more work to his uh, branch or fork. He forked it um, than I had to mine. And um, why do the extra work when it's already be done, been done? So I thought we would just go ahead and test this out. So let's go ahead and clone this. Let's click here and copy that. Now I've created a folder here, so I'm just going to uh, clone this right here using git clone and then paste that in there. And there we go. And so <clears throat> we see all the files. If I can click on there, see all the files there. Let's just go ahead and highlight this and open it up. It's not letting me highlight it. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Anyway, let's just open it up here. So um, let's go code. And we'll go bolt.new-any-llm. And we'll open that up in VS Code. And let's just jump over to the readme file here. All right. And so bolt.new forked by Cole Medin. Thank you so much for your work there, sir. Um, this is a fork of bolt.new. allows you to choose LLM that uh, you use for each prompt. Currently, you can use OpenAI, Anthropic, Olama, Ra Open Router, Gemini. So he's done a lot of work. Uh, that's a lot of models. Um, and, is, and it is easily extended to uh, use other models for support by uh, using Vercel and uh, the SDK. So that's good. Um, so we can launch it and use, it, use the uh, local URL, or however you want to set that up. Um, see the instructions below to run this. Okay, so I requested additions to this fork. So feel free to contribute. So I guess these are other things that are coming or have been done. Uh, maybe a little of both. I'm not sure. Um, high priority. So maybe this is up and coming, you know, requests. Um, and so we're getting to, it looks like, more of Bolt's actual documentation. So how to do Git, Node.js, Echo Path. Okay. Uh, clone your repository if you haven't. Rename example. Okay, so this will be important. So we got example right here. So there's dot env dot example, which is usually just a template. Um, you always want to rename that. Uh, you know, probably will with with Bolt they do dot env dot local, right? So well, maybe he's has he gotten around that? Hmm. Why does he have just .env and add your LLM keys? Well, that's interesting. Okay. We might come back to visit that. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and add my, my LLM keys to that. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I've added my keys to this. Um, and that's easy. You just look at that and you type in where your key goes. So, um, but that's that's still confusing me that it's .env. I mean, that's a standard way of doing it, but I know that Bolt uses the .local. So we'll see. And these are the keys that I I added there. So it should work. 
Okay, this looks good. I love the fact he's added Docker, so you can run this in a Docker container. So that's that's excellent. We're not going to test that out, but it's good to know. Docker Compose, yeah, excellent. Uh, run without Docker. So we're going to do that. We're going to definitely do our NPM install. And uh, we don't need the sudo. And then run. Um, I'm not going to run dev. I'm going to do the preview. I like the preview, so... Um, let's just go ahead and copy this, and let's pull up our terminal here, and let's get our packages installed there. We'll see Node pop up there, and let's see. Let's look at our package shot JSON here. <clears throat> so these are the packages, obviously, that it's installing right now. Um, <clears throat> and these are the scripts. This is how we, you know, when we use the script the pnpm to uh, run we can these are short code basically to run the actual commands here you can you know run these <clears throat> manually or you can just use the pmp and then use that so and i like just to use that preview but he does have docker here and everything so that's good to see so let's just go ahead and use preview go p um, pnpm and then preview we'll go ahead and get that going Let that launch. All right, so here it is running on our local host. Let's go back to our URL here, and we will just paste this in here. All right, here we are. So excellent. That let's uh, let's see. Let's try Grok here. All right, let's say please uh, create a to to do. There was a, now. See, that's usually the the key. You, you you don't have your key entered in for that. So I'm. Hmm, let's uh, let's try an anthropic. Just to, we'll know for sure. Um, so please create a to do map. Ah, this is not a good sign. Um, hmm. All right. So I'm just going to back here let's go ahead and bring this down for a minute i just get the feel i'm going to rename this and just test it out so let's just go change that to local because i just know that that's the way bolt does it so let's try that let's just relaunch this could be wrong Okay, no errors. That looks good. Let's uh, do a hard refresh here. And let's just choose, say, OpenAI. Um, please create, create a to-do application for a website. All right. Okay. So if you download this, don't change your .env to just .env. Change it to local because that's the way Bolt does it. So that that was wrong in the documentation. Um, the, our readme file here says to change that to uh, .env. What was that? Yeah, there you go. Never come No, it's different. Uh Let's just do a dot env. 
Yeah, this right here says rename your .env example to .env. Don't do that. It should be .local. So just remember that if you if you pull this. All right. So we have a problem here, though. Um, import to do. Is it it's still working on this? Maybe it's going to fix this. Let's just put this here. I don't know. Let's see. I'm getting this error. Let's add that file. Okay. Seems I missed the API. Let's add that file. Is it doing that? I don't see it create added. Yeah, well, there it is. Okay, there it is. So did that fix it? We need to refresh it. Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, we'll go test one. Add. Very good. Test two. Add. <clears throat> okay. So we are using the open AI. So that worked. Remove. It did create it. Toggle. I mean, this should be a, <laughs> a toggle, so we can mark it um, checked or not. So that's fine. I mean, that's working. It's not pretty, but uh, that's good. Let's uh, let's see. Let's go back to here, and we'll say let's try Grok. Um, let's say please create a to do application. That's good enough. Okay. Let's see if Crocs does it a little better. Okay, I'm getting in. Let's see. Just seeing HTML on the page. Okay. So I'm not sure Croc is the best uh, way to go with this. Okay, what do we got going on here? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> this is the code. For, this is the code for index.html. Is 
that would fix it. See if it can do that. Didn't fix it. Let's change the model and see if let's see if Anthropic can fix it. Let's see. Let's say please fix index dot html. All right, so Anthropic fixed it, Grok didn't fix it. So you can play around with different models to see what it can come up with. And of course, we, we're getting this error here. Let's see. This error is displaying. Okay. Refresh it. Oh. This should resolve it. Did it create it? A source. Create it. The error is still there. Okay, I made a change. Refresh it. This is the error. It's saying an app dot js. Okay. There we go. Maybe that fixed it. There we go. Okay. So test. Here we go. Delete. So, all right. So now we have um, the ability to change different models. And you can try different ones. You can set up your local ones and use that as well. Um, and then over here, we can download the code. We can sync files. We can use toggle terminal or we can push it, push it to our GitHub. So that's nice. So these are great options right here. Um, the video is getting long, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it, but this is a, a good, um, a really good, really good uh, uh, repo here. Just remember that when you change uh, the dot en, env dot example, make sure you change it to dot local. So I hope you, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.